stuff is the plan with Felton now to get him some reps at running back? I think so. It all depends on, uh, you know, we had a switcher to get hurt in the ball game. So uh, he's a pretty much do it all type guy. If a receiver goes down, of course, he's back over there. But hopefully, we'll have the opportunity to get him some reps in, in the game. He's practicing right now with the running backs thus far. Hopefully, everybody uh, stay healthy wide receiver wise and he'll have the chance to uh, display his skills. It depends on if a receiver goes down. How, how has he handled kind of splitting his time in meeting rooms? And I think he's done, done a fantastic job for the most part. Uh, the biggest thing being in the running back room is understanding the protections. And that's something that uh, he really have to dive into, uh, as well as doing his stuff, you know, from, from a uh, wide receiver standpoint. But he gets to understand the, the full uh, scheme and concept of the play, knowing what everything means being in both rooms. Stump, what is the next uh, step to get uh, Kareem and, and Chubb on the field at the same time? Uh, whenever Coach Stefanski <laughs> uh, deems it necessary. But do you think that could happen this year? I think it can happen, yeah. I think I think it can happen. You never know. Uh, the more toys that Kevin has, the better he is as a play caller. So you just never know what, what's going on in his mind. It's always something creative to uh, kind of catch the defense off guard. It's been kind of a quiet camp for Chubb and Hopkins because you know, there's no live tackling here. They haven't played in the game. What's, are they like two lines in a cage ready to be released, or what's their state of Right now, trying to get better uh, every practice. There are some things that we didn't do so well last year uh, that we have to improve upon. So they're coming out uh, every day trying to accomplish those things, whether they're playing in the game or not. How, how happy were you to see Nick kind of get paid? Well, I'm happy to see all, all these guys get paid, but uh, success brings that, you know, uh, being an ex-player. Uh, everyone wants to get paid, but you also want to win. Uh, and I think winning takes care of everything. Uh, last year, you fell a little bit short of your goal of 1,000 yards for both of them. It was pretty close. Well, I think it was mostly due to health. Uh, once Nick got hurt, the amount of times we ran the ball was reduced probably about 10 to 15 times a game because we did not have that guy that could come in and take the place of Nick, didn't have that type running style. Uh, Coach Stefanski was going to have Kareem have a limited amount of touches uh, that he thought would be successful, both run and pass, and, and that was the reason. But we have to keep both of those guys healthy, and if that be the case, uh, and we improve some upon our reads uh, from last year, it'll happen. Extra game this year. Extra game as well, but uh, most important, we have to uh, we have to keep guys healthy. Stump, you ever talked to your guys about how different camp was back in your day and how much more physical it was? No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't believe it. <laughs> I mean, you know, you have some guys on this team, on every team in the NFL. I think could have played back in the day because of their attitude. Uh, Nick, Kareem, uh, Odell, Jarvis, those guys. Some of those guys could have played back in the day. But then you have some guys who uh, nurse, they don't know the difference between uh, injury and pain. It's, it's a big difference. And with 120 to 30 guys in camp, uh, as a player trying to make the team, you realize that you had to be hurt to, in order to sit out. Uh, being drafted didn't mean you made the team back then. It just meant you had an opportunity. Is um, Ernest Johnson and Felton on the same plane, or is there room? I don't, I don't know that. Uh, that's beyond me. All I'm trying to do is get both of them to perform well, uh, special teams first, because it doesn't matter which one of those guys are on the team. Uh, e even if both of them are on the team, they have to understand right now their role is as a special teams player. And when we bring them in offensively, they have to make plays because they're not going to have that many plays. So when we bring them in offensively, they have to make a play. But special team wise, they have to see that as number one. And I think both of them did a, a great job against Jacksonville. Uh, Dimitri went down, made a tackle. He he got dishragged the first time. The second time, he learned. 
to be more physical, and he went down and he made the tackle. And of course, the earnest uh, this going on his third year, he understands special teams is what it's all about. You mentioned Coach Stefanski's creativity. Does he stand out in that regard, or is there something that has made an impression? You know, that, about that. I think it stands out to me uh, with all the offensive coordinators I've been around, uh, Coach Holmgren. Uh, Bruce Aaron, Jim Zorn, uh, Freddie l last year. If you got skill, Coach Stefanski find a way to make it happen. You're not just a receiver. You're not just a back or a tight end if there's some things that you can do. Uh, and I think that makes it exciting for the football players. It makes it exciting for the fans, and it makes it exciting for us as, a, as an offensive unit. Stone says that you... <clears throat> know when to put Nick in, you have a feel when to put in Nick, when to put in Kareem. So how does that work as far as whatever play is called? I don't know. Explain that. Well, both of those both of those guys have to have the opportunity to perform every play, regardless of what, what the play is. But we know that Kareem is our third down back. Unless it's third and one, then Nick will stay in the ball game. But other than that, Nick is our third down back. It's, it's that, I mean, Kareem. Kareem is our third down back. Uh, but Kareem is also a starter. He could do whatever. So it doesn't matter which one of those guys are in. Now, there's a, a, a certain number of touches Coach Stefanski want Nick to have. So I have to juggle that the entire game. You know, I don't, I don't want to be over that by more than two because then I'm going to get you. So, you know, it, it, it pretty much... Uh, depending on the floor of the game and, and how many touches he's got in the first or the second quarter, uh, you know when to put a guy in. Hey, Stump, from a competition standpoint, do you like the idea of these joint practices, the Giants coming in? I do, because it gives us an opportunity to see guys uh, perform more than we uh, normally would. So it's, it's, it's a great thing. We just have to be able to handle it and, uh, you know, no fighting and all of that crap yeah. and, and, and get some good work out. Did you guys do more here? Did you guys some? do those when you played? I can't remember. Yes, we did. did we did. Any of them stand out in particular? Uh, I think we had, when I was in Arizona, we had a problem with Oakland. Uh, it was fighting a lot. <laughs> so, you know, but other than that, it, it was pretty good. You didn't play for Buddy. the last one here? No, I did not play for Buddy. Uh -uh. Stump, when was the last time you did not have a beer? Uh, probably about six years ago. Yeah. And when was the last time you shaved? Well, I get it trimmed. I don't. I don't shave. I get it. I get it trimmed. Yeah, uh, a couple weeks ago.